Sherry Corporation had the following tax information, year, taxable income, tax rate, and taxes paid. We can see the data in the table there. In 2020, Sherry suffered a net operating loss of 550,000, which it decided to carry back. The 2020 enacted tax rate is 25%. Prepare Roper's entry to record the effect of the loss carry back. Okay, so we have 550,000 and we can carry it back from three years. So we can use all the data here, three years. So we've got 550, so we can carry it back to, so we're gonna start with the earliest tax year, which is going to be 2017. So we can take 390,000 here and then the remainder here. So we've got 390,000 and then we are going to take Hundred and fifty minus three hundred and ninety. So we've got 160 left that we can take from 2018. So we're going to take 2017 and we're going to take 2018. We're going to take 160,000 from there. That will get us to $550,000 in taxable income. Taxable income. So the taxes paid, which is what we're actually going to claim a refund for, we're going to claim back 120,900 from 2017 and 97,500 from 2018. So that is going to give us 218,000. Let's see, so we've got 120, oh, sorry, actually, it's not this amount, it's going to be 160,000 times the tax rate, because we're not taking back the entire 325, so times 30%, that is going to give us 48,000 here, so 120,900 plus 48,000 is going to give us a refund of 168,900, and let's just double check, so if we say yeah, so 550,000 is the total here, and that's the refund that we're going to get. So let's quickly calculate the effective tax rate to see if it makes sense. And when we calculate the effective tax rate, we're going to take the tax, 168,900, and divide it by the taxable income, 550. That's going to give us an effective tax rate of 30.7% which makes perfect sense because we have 30% here and 31% here. So what we can do here, so let's just pause. So what we did here is we said, okay, they have a loss of 550,000 and they can carry it back. Now the rules are you can carry it back for the immediate preceding three years. So we've actually got three years of data here. So that's perfect. If they had included 2016, that would have been a trick because this is 2017 is as far back as we can carry it. Now, when we apply tax, when we apply tax loss carrybacks, we start with the last of the three years and work forward. So in this case, we started, we used up all the tax losses from 2017. And then we had to be careful because we couldn't claim everything that we paid in 2018 because that exceeded our 550,000 operating loss. So we just claimed what we could from 2018 so that the total of our claim, the total here claimed 160,000 of the 325 so that we added back to the 550 to which we were entitled. And we need to be careful we distinguish between taxable income and taxes paid because this is talking taxable income. That's why we needed to make sure that we were checking these numbers. But in terms of the actual refund that we'll get from the CRA, because we will get a check to give us back the taxes that we paid in these years, that amount will be based on what we paid, of course, not our taxable income. So our journal entry to record our tax loss carryback is going to be debit income tax receivable. And this is going to be a current asset on our statement of financial position. And this is going to be for 168,900 and credit current 
tax benefit, which is going to be a P&L account. So it's going to be a reduction to our current income tax of 168900 